Yes, yes guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be giving you a hands-on step-by-step -step guide on how to use the DJI Pocket 2. If you like what you hear or see throughout this video, be sure to subscribe. Let's get straight into it. The first thing that you want to do is connect the joystick and button attachment. To turn on the Pocket 2, you can use the button at the front next to record or the button at the side. If you use the button at the front, it will turn on with the gimbal facing away. If you use the button at the side, it will turn on with the gimbal facing towards you. Let's go over the buttons at the front. The top left is the joystick. This can be used to zoom in and out or tilt the gimbal up and down. The button next to it can be used to change the gimbal modes from follow, tilt lock or FPV mode. Underneath that you've got a button with the red dot. This can be used to take a photo or stop and start a video. The button next to that can be used to switch between photo and video by pressing it once. Recentering the gimbal by pressing it twice and flipping the gimbal round by pressing it three times. This button is also used as the back button when you're on the menu settings and you want to go back. Now onto the main screen. You can access different menu settings by swiping in different directions across the screen. Swiping from left to right will bring up your playback screen. You can then swipe up and down to browse through your files. Swiping left to right again will bring up your favourite or delete option. Back to the main screen. Swiping from top to bottom will bring up your general settings. Once on this screen, swiping right will bring up your zoom and tilt options. This is where you can choose how you want the joystick to work. It can either tilt the gimbal up or down, or zoom in and out. If you select the joystick to tilt the gimbal up and down, then you'll be able to use the slider on the right hand side of the main screen to zoom in and out. Moving along from the tilt and zoom options, we come to our general settings. By clicking on this, we get to eight different options, four on the first page and four on the second page. Here you can choose if you want the full screen view on or off, see your SD card storage, face track on or off, accessories, gimbal collaboration, anti-flicker, turn your ketone on or off, and more just gives you language, resetting the device and the device info. If we go back to accessories, here you can collaborate the control stick and change the speed of how the control stick works when it zooms in or out or moves the gimbal up and down. Moving along from general settings, we've got glamour effects. This can only be used for videos at 1080p, 30 frames per second or lower. Moving on from that, we've got quality. High quality mode can only be used up to 30 frames per second in 4K. Everything above that switches to battery saver mode. Moving on from that, we have pro mode. This is the mode you want on if you want to change things like ISO, white balance and shutter speed. Pressing it once so the box fills up will turn it on. Once it's on, to access the pro settings, head back to the main screen and you'll see a box in the top left corner that says pro. Click on that. On this menu, you can change your shutter speed, ISO, white balance, your colour profile, your autofocus settings, and on page 2, your audio settings. Now back to the main screen. If we swipe from right to left, this brings up our shooting modes. Here you can choose between story, pano, photo, video, HDR video, slow-mo, and time-lapse mode. You can see three dots next to each of these modes. Swiping left on the screen will bring up different settings options for each of them. If we take video for example and swipe left on the screen, you can see it brings up resolution and frame rate. Here you can select from 1080p all the way up to 4K and from 24 frames per second all the way up to 60. Let's say you're on 4K 60 and you want to change to 4K 24. Press in the resolution button 
in the bottom left hand corner of the screen will take you straight back to the resolution and frame rate settings. Moving on to the last settings screen, swiping up will bring up your gimbal settings. Pressing the button on the top left re-centers the gimbal, although you can do this as a shortcut by double tapping the button next to record. The button next to that flips the gimbal, although you can do this as a shortcut by triple tapping the button next to record. The button in the bottom left is to change between fast and slow follow. Keep it on slow if you want a nice smooth cinematic look. And the last option in the bottom right is to change between follow, tilt lock or FPV mode. If you want to plug your phone into the Pocket 2, remove the joystick and button accessory. Connect the phone accessory and then plug your phone in. You'll be able to access all of the menus and settings. and use it as a viewfinder through your phone. And that's it for my step-by-step -step guide to the Pocket 2. If you want to see some footage and see what it's capable of, check out my London in lockdown video. All of the footage was shot on the Pocket 2 apart from the drone shots. Thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen, check out my other videos, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one.